All right, let's get started. My friend, is that you making that noise? I'm about to mute you back. Yeah. Mute out for a second. I'm going to do some announcements. Welcome to uh, October, everyone. Thank you for joining the uh, Zoom. Uh, we do have a special guest that I'm super excited for you guys to meet. Some of you all may not know. Uh, Marvette Hank, uh, I'm about to say Hancock. <laughs> Marvette Deadwiler. I met her as Hancock. We came into the business. We actually joined the business together. Uh, I think we joined, what, like a month or maybe a couple of weeks apart, but we'll talk about that shortly. Um, I do want to congratulate everyone who made our September list. Um, those of you who all uh, promoted, we had some promotions um, in September. We had some 400 PBV earners, personal bonus volume, meaning your own customers, uh, retail loyal customers, running your monthly auto ship also applies to that as well. We had a nice long list of all those 400 PBV earners. We also had some top 10 PBV earners. Congratulations to those. Um, they're normally like over a thousand plus in personal volume. Um, I see some of the same people every month. Um, so shout out to those of you all who made that top 10 list. I'm super proud of you guys. Make sure that you go into being their empire and our team page and congratulate those folks who were really hard in September. Um, October is a whole new month, so set some new goals, um, work real hard, focus, um, make sure that you're staying plugged in as much as you can. Um, this is your business. We want to make sure we're giving you all the great information and the tools and the tips and everything that we can to help you um, build a successful business. Um, we want to see everybody. I want to see that list longer for October. I want to see more promotions before the end of the month. Um, I do want to touch on um, something that just actually came out from my field development leaders uh, today, like maybe a couple of hours ago. Katrina Ferguson, who is our Northeast region field development leader, um, she put something on her page today. It's about a new group for rubies and emeralds and diamonds and double diamonds, okay? They separated the groups. Um, it's to mentor and coach and share some really tips to help you again grow your business. Um, there's a, a, a post on her page that she wanted you guys to, if you're, if this applies to you, if you're an executive or a distributor, you don't need to comment on it. What you got to do is you got to work to get to Ruby pretty much. It starts with Ruby. So if you're a Ruby and an Emerald diamond and double diamond, go on her page, see, read about it, see what it's all about. She wanted everybody to actually comment on it with their name their title, um, where they're from. And I think she wanted to give you, uh, she wanted you all to say, you know, why did you want to join this program, okay? So it's actually a mentor group. Um, they're going to be coaching you guys. They're going to be sharing daily tips with you guys. Um, I think it's going to be really great. You know, this is going to be something really big because we already have VIP. We have VIP groups for Triple Diamond and above. We have the ambassador groups, and they're giving us, you know, tips and information. We bounce off ideas all the time. And I think this is good because everybody's going to be getting the same good information um, every single day. Nobody should be left out. And, um, you know, you guys really need this. I know a lot of the leaders, it's, it's kind of like taking, um, and I think they really want most leaders to focus on building their business more so than doing trainings every single day. Because if you think about it, a lot of us leaders, you know, we're like on the phone, we're training, doing videos, you know, we're uh, sending out emails, we're doing so much for our team, which we love doing that. We Don't get me wrong, we love pouring into our team all the time. But I think they're trying to get us to now focus on recruiting, you know, getting our own loyal customers and running our own business. So now they're taking some of the responsibility and say, hey, let's create this group for our rubies, emeralds, and diamonds and double diamonds, and let's put them all in one group and we'll help you guys mentor and coach them as well. Okay, so it's a team effort. We're all here for you. So as I always tell you guys, no excuse. <laughs> we, we didn't have this stuff, Marvette, when we came in 2012. You all getting a lot of good information and a lot of great leaders, corporate leaders that are pouring into you all the time, including us. You know, you got the uh, field development leaders. They also, and I love them. I mean, they're really stepping up to the plate and really helping us. 
um, with our business and with our teams. Um, and the fact that they once were distributors, you know, they once were in our shoes, they were ambassadors, triple diamonds, dime, double diamonds, they know what we need. So now that they're in this position, they're now a voice for us going to Mark and say, hey, I remember when I was in their shoes, this is something that I know we were struggling with. So I think this is really good that they're here for us, you know, and, and you know, they're doing a great job. So take advantage of everything that's right there for you um, and, you know, get to work. Um, another thing too, so make sure that you go on there. I don't want to come off that subject real quick. Make sure that you go on her page. Um, I did post the group in. Mute your phone. Mute your phones. Mute, mute, mute. Mute your phones, please. If you are on this call, please mute your phone. Oh, I'm going to take Okay. So. Um, going back to that post, I did put in um, the names of the groups. So it looks like that um, you can go ahead and join yourself. Um, I'm sure they may have to approve you. I'm not sure how that works because I didn't try to join it because it's not for me. Um, but it looks like if you go into those particular groups, and I did put it in Millionaire Empire so that you can see the names of the, the Ruby and the Emerald group and the Diamond and the Double Diamond group. And then you can just go straight through there. You go to your browser. You put the name of the group in there, and then you click on join so you could be a part of this amazing group. Um, October promos, um, we came out with the new Keto Coffee. Um, this is a great new product for the Keto Diet. It's a product line. So this is our first product of the new Keto Diet product line. I do have it here. So they send it out to all the VIPs, and they come in individual packs like this okay in their instant and it's non-gmo it's on the go as you can see small they can fit right into your purse and um like i said they're instant so you can just add hot water to it and some people are making it with cold coffee like if you like cold coffee you can do that um it's keto and it's soy free so it's like a weight loss a lot of people um they are saying that the effects from it they're not hungry you know, after they take drink the coffee, um, people are losing weight. We had a lot of ambassadors who were actually doing the keto diet before this actually even came out. And they were sharing their testimony. It was like, I didn't lose so much weight off the keto diet. Like, this is amazing. You know, I'm so glad you came out with this. So it has the MCT oil, collagen, protein, and grass-fed butter, okay? It will rapidly break down fat to fuel your body and brain while boosting energy output, sharpening mental focus. I heard a lot of people, I know Elena was talking about how, you know, she has so much energy once she drunk this coffee um, throughout the day. And again, she was not hungry. So it satisfies your hunger, builds and restores your body's vital protein, which supports building muscle. Again, soy-free, non-GMO, and keto. This is good because my husband is allergic to uh, soy. So this is something that he can drink, even though he's not a coffee drinker, but I know there's a lot of people that are allergic to soy. So make sure that you're posting about the new product. I do believe there's another product for this product line that's gonna be actually coming out this month as well. So as you can see, he's coming out with more and more great things. So make sure that you're sharing this information with your customers, with your potential customers, and on social media. Um, make sure that you have all downloaded the It Works Office app. I know I talk about this all the time, but the reason I do it because there's a lot of new people that join our calls, and it's a really good tool. Um, it's a free app, and that app tells you everything. Any corporate calls that's happening, it's going to alert you and let you know. Sunday night call, Monday night call, you'll get an alert. We're all busy. I know I'm busy all day long. Um, when the call is about to come on, maybe you're two minutes or three minutes before, it'll alert you and let you know. Any new promotions, any new products, any new videos that corporate put out, you're going to get that through the It Works app, okay? If you're working towards the bonus, the gold bonus is still until September, the end of se I mean, oh, still until the end of December, um, look in the back of that, um, you know, there's a, a profile for just you letting you know if you still have time to reach a go bonus. So all that information is there. It tells you if you completed the steps to success, 
it, it, it gives you everything. So make sure that you have that downloaded. Um, another great promotion, and I love this one. This is the whole nother level club right here. <laughs> and the whole nother level club is going to make you money, okay, if you do it the right way. And the breakdown for the whole nother level club is all you have to do is enroll one new loyal customer, a qualified, which means they have to order more than 25 in BV. That's one point. So they're breaking it up to points. And I went over this with my other uh, team the other day. Enroll one new DT equals two points. And I put all this information in Millionaire Empire. So I'm just reading it all. But um, you should be able to just go in there and get this information I'm reading right now. Personally enroll a DT that goes Ruby for the first time, it equals four points. Personally enroll a new DT who enrolls four loyal customers, qualified loyal customers, and their first 30 days equal five points. So every five points, every time you get five points, you get $100. This is not including your fast start bonus, cash. You know, you're still going to get that as well. So you're getting fast start. If your, your distributor gets their two loyal customers in their first 30 days, that's a hundred dollar fast start bonus weekly, unlimited. And if you do the points, the whole nother level, um, and you get the five points, and you can get it any kind of way. You can enroll five loyal customers and get five points. Okay, you can enroll a DT, get two points, and get three loyal customers. As long as it adds up to five points, and you can keep track of your points. Well, you don't have to keep track. You can see the points. So it works as uh, keeping track of your points in your e suite. So when you log in and go to that home page, you're going to see that tracker on your right hand side. Also, you're going to see your Jeep entries as well. So as you're doing this, you're also going to earn Jeep entries. You're also going to earn the points for the whole nother level club. You're going to get some real good cash, weekly, unlimited, including your commission. So all of this you can do if you do it the right way, okay? Um, the $500 shopping spree is back. If you enroll a new distributor and they join by the 6th of this month, and they get full loyal customers in their first 30 days. So anybody that's new on this line, on this call, and you joined um, just recently, you got uh, you got to get full loyal customers and you get a $500 shopping spray. So it's so many great things that's going on right now, all these great promotions. I just don't want you all to get confused with anything. So I want to make sure that I go over it every time we get on uh, the Zoom so that you fully understand. Um, make sure that you go into your eSuite when you log in on your home page and print out the October game plan and watch the video that uh, Cami does every single month. So every single month, the first of the month, Cami Dempsey, who is our, also our senior uh, field development leader, she also puts out a video giving you a game plan for the month so that you can finish strong. Steps to success, you're printing that out as well every first of the month, and you're working hard with your team to complete your steps to success. The training courses are still available in your training academy, okay? They updated everything. Everything is laid out perfectly for you. Make sure that you're staying up on your training courses in the training academy as well. Um, conference, Marvette, I'm going to ask you something about conference too. Because I want everybody on my team, as many people as possible, to get to conference. Tickets go on sale on the 16th. Okay, these are early bird tickets. Something that you don't want to miss out on. They are two, it's $220 for early bird tickets to go to conference. Okay, after that, it goes up to $329. So I highly suggest that you start saving your money get some rap cash, sell some products, do whatever you can to get there, okay? $229, the tickets sell out quickly, so you gotta act fast. So I want you to put something on your phone, a tickler somewhere on a calendar, so that you'll get an alert, so that you are ready when those tickets go on sale. Um, when you order the tickets, you get five rap rewards. Okay, so you'll have five rap rewards that you can apply for, ultimate body applicator or facial applicators. You also get 25% off of 2018 corporate events. Okay, you'll get an exclusive email, uh, gift mailed to you in January. So I really want you guys to be there. Marvette, 
<laughs> yes. I'm going to be bringing you on shortly, but tell them about your first experience at conference. I need, I need my team to get there. I was say, girl, you know, no, my anniversary come up next week. I've been here for five years. I don't even remember. What I will say is that conference lights a fire. And I, re- I think like my, I didn't go when I made ambassador. Like, I mean, I had just got to the business um, and nobody really drilled it in. But like the second year round, I want to say like my check went up almost $20,000 because I mean, like, you know, conference is like a fire like no other. And every time my check goes, ha, 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 when I go. Like, it just, I don't know, conference just lights a fire in your team. Um, And, you know, I mean, in in events in general, like, we used to go to every corporate event. And I think that they're huge because, you know, for, for me, I don't know if any of you guys are like this. I'm competitive. So when I look, you know, see somebody that's like, well, I'm a millionaire or I did this or I, you know, I enrolled 30 distributors and I look at them and I'm like, I could do that. It just lights a fire. So every time I leave, like literally the check goes up, up, up. (laughs) So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I would say get there. Like, I don't care how you get there, bus, you got a boat, you got to swim. I mean, get there. Get there. I, I remember when we went to our first event and it wasn't, it wasn't calm. It was boot camp. It was boot camp. So just like they have the boot camp, they just recently started bringing boot camps back out. They had stopped it for a while. It was all about one team, one missions and green carpet and conference. So now they have the boot camps, the mini boot camps and the big boot camps. But our first one, I think was what, Dallas? Yeah, and I think when I went to boot camp, when my first boot camp, I was double. And then the second, because they used to go on by weekly, by the next one, I had promoted to presidential in two months. And now, um, but like the month over. And then it hit at, that's when I met you. I was like triple or something, yeah. the next conference. And then I made presidential the next month. And I promoted that night. Right. So all this to say, you know, you got to get there. Um, it will change your business. It will change your life. Um, it will motivate you. It will inspire you. You know, you get to meet top leaders. The Black Diamonds will be there. All the top leaders will be on stage um, teaching you blitzing tips, rap party tips, you know, all types of tips um, for those two days um, at conference. And, you know, you'll hear testimonies. You'll hear people um, talk about how the products have changed their life. You'll hear leaders and, um, you know, double diamonds and diamonds, whoever they're going to have on stage sharing testimonies about how the business has changed their life. You know, and I love to hear stories from, you know, Vanessa. I love to hear stories from our other black, our black diamonds, um, Joel and Stephanie. You know, if you haven't heard their story, I mean, it's just simply amazing how they started in this business. I mean, they were standing in food lines and shelters for making two hundred thousand dollars a month in this business um and i haven't missed a, a a conference since i've been in the company i remember the first time i got started with it works while nessa was the first one to actually go to a corporate event and i don't think nobody from her team actually no one from her team that she enrolled went with her it was her and her husband and she called me when she got back and she was like, you got to get to this event. You got to go to the events. It's very important. You got to show for your team. You know, you got to show your face. And, you know, she just talked about how so excited. And just hearing the excitement in her voice, I was like, I'm going next time. You know, I'm never going to miss another event. And I make sure that I'm at conference every single year. You know, um, like I said, it's life change. It's going to change your business. So many people come in as a ruby and next thing you know they're diamond double diamonds triple diamonds like marvette said she was promoting she promoted while we were sitting at the bar at one of the corporate events you know you what what presidential triple or something and i was like wow this is crazy <laughs> so you gotta make sure that you plan to get to conference i know the tickets are expensive but it's so well um and then you're getting right and you're getting other things <laughs> Um, you gotta get your flight, you gotta get your <coughs> Who's coughing? <coughs> I'm muting you. Um, you gotta get your flight, you know, so, and you gotta get your hotel room, but, you know, connect with your team, 
know, see who wants to go and maybe you all can share um, a hotel together. You know, so try to get your team there. Everybody can bunk in together. We had people that showed up at conference last year slept in cars. You know, it was 10 girls to a room. You know, whatever they can do to get there, they made a sacrifice to do it. And, it, and I'm sure that it, it paid off big time. So we're going to go ahead and move on. We have a very special guest, um, Marvette Deadwaller, who is an ambassador diamond. Uh, like I said, she started the company with me, um, started in 2012. Uh, we both hit ambassador diamond at the same time. We both went across the stage and got our ambassador awards at the same time. Uh, she's a hustler. You know, she works her butt off. She has an amazing team as well. Um, I want to bring her on. Marvette, can you introduce yourself and share a little bit about your story? Yes! <laughs> um, so thanks for having me on. Um, I hate doing these. <laughs> Arraine is the talker, as you can see, and I'm not. Um, but I've been, I actually, like I said, October 15th is actually my five, fifth year. Um, and it works. And um, I got into it um, under Kim Scott. And I think, like, again, my competitive spirit and her. So I'm one of those people, like, I just like money. And not, I don't, like, read things. It's, you know, it's just not me. It's not my personality. I can be transparent. Um, but Kim, for me, is that person, like, she goes through the comp plan. Like, you see her on the trainings, and she's like, da-da-da-da-da. So I'm like, just tell me what I need to do. And she will always say, just read it. And I'm like, no, just, I don't have time. Just tell me how I can make the money. I'm one of those people that, of course, I know a lot of people, um, but my friends and my family, they did not join me in business. And I wrote 250 people my first year in, and it, they all came from social media. Um, maybe two of the people I kind of knew back, you know, back in the day. But like, other than that, my team came from Instagram. Um, and, you know, like for me, I always tell people that it doesn't matter, you know, who says what. Um, it, di it didn't matter if my family didn't support me. Um, it didn't matter about the naysayers. And nothing, none of that stuff mattered. Um, and, and right now, I kind of spend a lot of time doing like Instagram research. And, and, to, and like recently, I learned that there were 600 million people on and maybe 300 million of those people are actually active every single day. When you hear numbers like that, it's kind of like, well, why can't I enroll at least, you know, five to 10 people per day? Um, it's not, you know, a hundred million people, oh, six, 300 million people are not in it works, you know? Um, so when you hear numbers like that, I mean, write that number down. Cause for me, it's drilled in my head because then I can tell myself like, I can, I can at least get 10% of that number to sign up on my team. Um, so I did, um, I, my first, I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I first joined this business, like most people, you know, everything going on at, at, you know, in your life at a certain point, sometimes that you join this business and you feel like this is the easiest thing to quit. Um, and I remember sitting at my desk, I had just got a new job. When I joined the business, I didn't have a job. And, uh, you know, I had one on interviews prior to that, and somebody finally called me back. And I was making maybe 60000 a year. Um, but I hated the job. I wanted to be free. I wanted to go back home. And um, I remember, like, I was making rap cash, but I did not have any loyal customers. And my sponsor um, actually helped me with my four. That was the only thing she's ever given me in life, though. Um, but I remember that... Um, I had ended up getting a customer or something and I didn't move it in time for her to get a promotion. And, oh, I didn't run my auto ship. Let me say this. I didn't run my auto ship and she had helped build me. Um, and I, I had gotten two people, two distributors and I was set for executive, but she did not make Ruby because I did not run my auto ship and I felt bad, but I was having a bad day that day. And that particular day I told her, I said, listen, my car's messed up. Now I had the money to fix it. My car is messed up. Something's wrong with my apartment. And I, I just really don't have time to focus on it works. And I was like, I quit, right? That that particular day, a month later, I had I, I was going to quit. And she said to me, she said, um, she said, my vet, she said, I, I don't know you. Like, I don't know you. We're not close. But she said, I watched you over the years through social media. And she was like, you quit men. You quit pets. You quit, you know, you quit 
in cars. I've watched you quit everything in life and you've never been stable enough to stay. I watched you quit jobs. Like it's nothing. It's just you've never been stable enough to stay with anything. And I don't even know why I thought this would be any different. Like I don't even know why I signed you. It's as truthful as that was. And as you know, it hurt. And I was going to beat her up. I'm going to be real. <laughs> um, as truthful as I had to hear that, it was what I needed to yeah. get myself together. And so I was like, listen, I quit. But I kept going. Um, and I ended up promoting to Ruby myself. And she said that I had got a customer. And she was like, listen, um, go ahead and move the customer. And we'll, you know, let's go shopping this week. I know you're still upset. But if I had quit, my team grew to 6,000 people my first year. If I had quit, imagine how many lives I would not have changed because I quit and I let people, you know, try to discourage me or nothing was really wrong in my life. But, you know, sometimes you get people and it, it may be you. Sometimes you get people that join your team. And the first thing they can think of is to quit because it's the easiest thing to do. And for me, it was the easiest thing to do. But I look back on that and I say, listen, if I had not quit, if I had quit, lives would not be changed. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have met amazing friends and, you know, like Arena and Dawn and um, Sharita and, and just different people that came into my life and like sowed a seed. I would not have met these people if it did not happen. So, of course, the easiest thing is to give up, you know, especially when you feel like you're pounding. A gr and, and, and honestly, there was not, I was making money. There was nothing wrong. And I honestly could have just used the money to buy me a new truck and use the money to move out of that, you know, whack apartment complex. And, and I, that, it motivated me. And that's what I did. Got a new car, you know, rented a house. And I used that once I realized how dumb it sounded, I said I was quitting. Um, you got anything for me, Raina? Yeah. I yeah. So you, you went to the top of the company and just what nine months mm -hmm. nine months and you know can you tell the team like how did you get there like you know what were some of the things that you were doing daily that helped you get to ambassador diamond in nine months of joining the business and you were the one that was stubborn and we have a lot of stubborn and i know i had distributors who came and i recruited and they don't do anything in the first month or two and we all experienced that. And you were one of them. And you know what? I was one of them too. <laughs> it took me a couple of weeks before I actually said, okay, let me just start doing something with this business. That was me too. <laughs> so, you know, and look at both of us. You know, we were able to hit to ambassador, you know, eventually had to click and we had to like really get ourselves together. So what did you do like daily to get you to ambassador diamond in nine months? And honestly, as I, as I look back, I was consistent. And I think that honestly, if I could be transparent, that's what I fail at now is being consistent. Of course, you know, my life looks totally different. Um, I didn't, I didn't have a toddler. Um, but I was consistent. I was consistent and my calendar was constantly filled. And honestly, at this point right now, that's what I'm trying to go back to. And I'll, and I'll show you that in a couple of minutes, but my calendar was filled every single day. And if, you know, me, I would not go to bed unless I got, you know, two to three numbers or unless I signed somebody. And I think that we get far away from that. Like, if you stick to the balance of, okay, let me just collect four to five numbers today to add to my calendar, or let me not, like, some, like, uh, my girl Shari on my team, I don't know if you guys know her, but she's a super talking roller. Meaning she's a top enroller every month. She enrolls 40 distributors and 20 loyal customers almost every month. She does not go to bed until somebody enrolls inside of that system. And, and her thing, what she said to us is that some of you guys get tired. She said, I'm never going to get tired of making money. And a lot of us give up. We get tired. Um, but a lot of this involves strategy. Um, and for me, I tried different things. Like I may have tried it a Rain's way and I may have tried it Kim's way and I may have tried it Ronnie's way. But the only way that I found that work was my particular way. I post it every day on social media. I collect emails and numbers every day on social media. Um, and at that point, I was only really working with Instagram. So I collected numbers. I would make up. A, and once I look back at how premature my Instagram was, um, I would post stuff like anyone want to make money? 
post what state you're in. And then I would like message those people or drop your email. And I would like message those people, or drop your number. Um, and it's premature that it's, it sounds, it works. And, and it works. And, and I find that now, um, I work on a Calendly, it's called Calendly. And I'm working on that system. And sometimes in that system, I fall short. But I have, a, if you go to my page, um, I have a link. And inside of that link, it goes to a calendar. So I'm able to redirect my, my days. And I found that Calendly works. It alerts me when people have set an appointment for me. It reminds that person that set an appointment. And um, I just messaged Jarena the other day. I don't know if you guys seen this. Um, but this is called the, uh, the High Achievers Playbook. And it's typically like $50. But um, I think last week it was 20. If I find the code, I'll send it to her. Um, this is my newer book because I'm I like newer stuff. Um, but inside of this book, this is just from today. And as Arena was talking, I still had five more people that sent me their number. So everybody, it, I mean, you can't see it, but it has a date, it has a time, it has activity, it has contact. So it's maybe about eight right here. And then on the back of here, it has notes, follow-up, potential distributor. I can put yes or no. And then it has um, a to-do business and to-do personal. Back then, I could balance a lot more. Um, right now, my life, I'm, I, I don't know, my ADHD sometimes kicks in. So honestly, I'm my, my own holdback. But before, it was so much money coming on a check, and I didn't want to miss it, that I set a goal each month. Each month, it was like, okay, I'm going to hit Emerald. I skipped diamond, I went to double, I went to triple, I went to presidential. And, and also how I got there was, I think sometimes we stop and we focus on who's not working. And I remember watching a live in another network marketer in another company. She said, by the time she has figured out that you will not work or that you're a procrastinator, she has already enrolled two or three people that day to already replace it. And I and that drilled inside of my mind that I have to enroll more people. It's a numbers game. It's like a man or a woman. Every person that comes into your life is not your lifelong partner. You know, they're not your husband. You know, they're not your wife. They're not your, you know, significant other. And that rule applies for business that everybody that comes and they sign up, they're not going to be somebody that probably sticks into your team. So you invest a, enough in them to get them started, but stop investing so much time that you start to become tired. And that's what I did wrong. I started wanting more for people than they wanted for themselves, as opposed to the beginning. I invested enough to get you going. I led you there, but I couldn't make you drink the water. I can't make you, you know, you know, uh, want, you know, more money. I can't do the job for you. And I had to realize that. Um, so. The key thing was that I realized it was a numbers game and I just was enrolling, enrolling. And I never stopped to, you know, see who was not. I already had a plan. When I went ambassador, um, Candy was like $1,500 uh, short. Shari was $200 short. And I flipped over to work with her. Candy ain't making fast enough that I wanted to promote. <laughs> so I helped Shari. Shari made it, Candy made it two days later. I wanted to promote Tuesday, not Thursday. I already had a plan and I did not rely on one leg. A lot of times we're relying on one person to make Ruby when you should be creating four Rubies at a time. When somebody's executive, you should be, and you see that they're executive, help them go Ruby. If there's somebody, if they are somebody's Ruby for their Emerald, build that, help that person, coach that person in Emerald so that they can pop at the same time as the other emerald. And that was my honest to God strategy that I just was trying to pop so many things at one time. And now mm -hmm. I've came down from that and I'm like, you know, what do you need? And, it, and it's like, you know, a lot of my team was like, I was harsh. And honestly I was, but for some of my team, they were like, what happened to you? We need that. And now you're like mother's goose sing song. You know, some people need that accountability it's the way you do it, but some people, what, what I learned about myself is everybody can't take you, and that's fine. However, my team was a team that had over 500000 in volume. So whatever I did, it worked. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you can't, you know, you can't focus on, you know, you're, everybody's not going to like you. 
you know, they're not going to love you. Everybody's not going to be your friend. But when you kind of come down and focus on something, you know, not being yourself to alter yourself to accommodate people on your team, you lose focus. You lose sight of stuff. You know, focus on the ultimate goal, which is to help your family, you know, and, and to help your team in the change lives. Absolutely. So, Marvette, going back to um, the calendar, um, you said you have a calendar set up where people can go on there automatically and you get the email. Mm -hmm. It's called Calendly. I pay eight dollars. Right, right um, What's it called? <laughs> Calendly. C A L E N B L Y. Um, I bought a ninety-nine cent GoDaddy domain. Um, it was, the name is catchy. It means something to me. And I figure, you know, when people see it, they'll want to click, but it's called the road to millionaire because honestly, that's my personal goal. Um, so when it, I posted it on, you know, my Instagram sites, when I post lifestyle posts, um, I post it on Facebook. And honestly, I found that people are more prone to click links and be nosy than they are to really inbox you or text you when you're, you know, cause some people are like, you know, their number or whatever. Um, but more people, like literally, I have at this point that I found my system, I have at least anywhere from three to five people that, um, in, you know, that put their um, setting appointment with me daily. Um, that's my, if I had about 20 people, I, I honestly could have been better um, that, you know, messaged me. Uh, but my only day that I set for myself is typically on Sunday. This month, my goal is bigger. Um, and so I'm setting a goal of having 40 people um, that I've actually talked to. And that way I can close at least maybe one and two percent of those people. So what about the, the uh, lead page? Do you still have that? Does that so um, honestly, I mean, I remember, you know, us setting um, I was up at the same time, Marina, but um, that didn't work for me. And, and because I'm somebody, again, I have a toddler. Um, maybe smaller kids that I needed something to where I can set the time because that's what this is about, you know, making sure that you're organized. Right. If you don't balance your life, it'll be all over the place. So um, lead capture didn't work for me because, you know, I would text the people or call them and like they wouldn't respond um, or I didn't know when to text and call. But here it's like they're setting a set schedule and when they can't do it, they can just reschedule the appointment. Um, so Calendly for me in the last maybe one month or two, it, it's just working for me as far as even just, you know, being able to collect, um, you know, people's numbers and emails for my own. Um, what, what this high achievers also has is a master, um, prospect list. So I'm able to add my prospects to this list. Good. Okay. So I'm thinking fast forward now. 2018 is coming around real quick. What are your goals for 2018? <laughs> and I know. <laughs> uh -oh. But I want you to share with the team. And what are your strategy? What's the strategies that you are implementing with your team to help you all get to, you know, I know you're trying to pop diamonds and double diamonds. And I know you're trying to uh, get to that millionaires club. So what strategies have you implemented with your team to help you all reach those goals? Woo! <laughs> so let me just be honest about this. Um, my goal this year was Millionaire's Club. And um, I held myself back. I got tired. And I'm close. I got tired. And I think recently, as I kind of started getting closer to God, I realized a lot of things that I did wrong to the point where it has been in my sleep. And the message is so clear to me, right? And um, so next year, that's my goal. That's my goal. I'm sticking with it. And it's top 100 is actually it. And I was top 100 for like two to three years until I got pregnant. And, and my focus began to be on my family. Because a lot of times, honestly, when you're enrolling so many people, they get lost in the shuffle and you get lost in the shuffle. Um, and so, like I said, that's why I kind of like a system. Um, well, I had to come back and just really balance my life because honestly, like my, my marriage was failing my first two years and I had to really come back and, um, just get myself at a place of balance, having a baby, everything just was a little new to me. Now, what, what, what I can tell you is my strategy is that I wiped the whole slate clean, the whole ambassador chart. Um, I wiped it clean. 
it's not even a focus of mine to rebuild anything. What I'm focused on is helping new people. Now, let me tell you why. There are people who, you know, some of us at this point have, you know, you know, lost ranks and we failed a little bit. But failure does not mean that it's over. And I had to realize that. It's okay that my journey doesn't look like other people. Um, you know, I had to come down a little bit to figure out who my real friends in business was, um, you know, who actually, you know, um, had my back, who actually was still on this path for me, who actually felt like they were better than me. You know, you know, sometimes you get people on the team like, okay, well, I enrolled more than Dawn. You know, I'm, I'm, I know everything. And I had to really come back and learn more about myself, okay? Um, and, and just learn a couple of things. And I realized that silence was golden. I don't have to, I remember talking to another leader and she said, you know, you don't even broadcast that you, you know, did A, B, C, and D. And I realized that I can broadcast that in private to my team, but I don't have to broadcast that, you know, to the world. I don't have to prove to anybody that I'm working, um, a, you know, my business out in public. Okay. Um, because that's between me and God, honestly. And I had to realize number one, what, what I'm doing now is I have um a really good accountability partner. And she's not somebody that's an ambassador of Black Diamond. She's somebody who I'm watching promote after she started her business over. And she wiped her slate clean. And she is my accountability partner. She breathes life into me. And I had to realize that I had to get around more positive people because it's easy to have a Debbie Downer party if this month didn't look good. If I call somebody else and they're like, girl, I ain't getting up in this month. I don't know what's going on with social media. I had to realize that this business does work because I see pr people promoting every single day. But when you get around people that can encourage you and you get around the people who put you, who when you call and you're trying to have that Debbie Downer party about what, what's going on with it works this month and they're having it with you, you start to fall into a cycle. So I started getting around people and, and people, even if it meant on my team, who were positive and not negative. I don't want to have a pity party. And it's easy to do that. Okay. Um, I had to learn to lead by example. And I think a lot of us have more expectations for people than we have for ourselves. If you expect people to go out and make Ruby, did you actually make Ruby? Did you actually make Triple? Did you actually do what you're saying that you want them to do? Leading from the front is important. And then I actually, I heard Fallon say, you have to, you know, you have to outwork your team. You have to, you have to outwork your team. They cannot outwork you. Um, so right now my strategy is, is I wipe the whole slate clean. What I did wrong was I started holding on to people longer than their expiration date in this business. And even still, those same people are still calling me like, what, are, you know, what is the game plan? What am I doing? You know, what do we, you know, what's, what, what, what should we do? Four years later, they're still sitting at distributor executive and they're asking me what the game plan is. And the, what I can tell them is the same thing that we've been doing. It actually works. You have got to, at, by the time you hold on to all those people past their time, that's all the time that you can spend enrolling new people. It's not rocket science, scientists to be an entrepreneur. It doesn't take me begging you to get on a call. It doesn't take me saying, hey girl, you know, let's go do a table and let's go do this thing. Like when you are in business with people, they have to come to the table with ideas. And what I did wrong was I, I didn't want to be the leader where I'm excelling and people wasn't because when I went ambassador, it happened to me. When I when people did not make their rank, they fell off the business. And I was like, what did I do wrong? What I realized through prayer was that that had nothing to do with me. And I should have kept going instead of trying to come back down and say, you know, what what's going on with you? Because in business, people will meet you exactly where you're at, and you never have to down yourself to go back to where you know you started from to make people feel good. So I always tell myself, I'm looking for five old me's. <laughs> and I say new me, five old me's. Five people that I can bounce ideas off. Five people that match my hustle. And so I'm looking for that five. Um, and I'm not placing anybody on that chart until I find those five people that can match me in business. Because what I don't want to do any longer is, is drag people on a journey that I know that they're going to quit. You should never have to beg your friends, your family, and your business partners to work. Our bills look the same. Rent, 
mortgage, water bill, light bill, it all looks the same. And I had to remember that, that I'm not dimming my light anymore. I'm going to keep going. And if that meant erasing the whole team, then that's what it was. I'm going to encourage them. I'm going to pray for them. And I'm going to continue to pray for them. I also now have a, um, a daily grateful ju- um, a, a, a journal um, that I'm working in. Um, and I'm excited to just see what God brings to me inside of that journey. But literally every day that I get down on my knees and I pray that night before and I say, God, bring me people that are interested in the business. No lie, I can show y'all my phone. It, it's like five or six people come in and they're like appointment, appointment, appointment. And I just say, thank you, God. So the biggest thing is that fine, you know, I'm fine. I'm trying to find what works for me. And right now, Calendly works for me. Adding people daily works for me. Now, the number that I set for myself to add people, I get a little bored sometimes, but I have to remember, don't go to sleep until you add 200 people on, 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 um, on um, Facebook. Don't go to bed until you engage with 200 people. Um, so constantly, every day, it's a struggle because I'm trying to put, you know, push myself. Um, but I had to learn how to balance. I had to learn how to meal prep for my family in order to, by the time they come home, I don't have to do nothing. Everybody should be doing it themselves. Even Dream, the two years, she got to learn how to put it together. Um, but at this point, I mean, you know, I have a system flowing, um, you know, recently that I put in place. So I'm, um, you know, excited to just see that system pan out. But sometimes you got to wipe your slate clean, like a baptism. And you have to find new people. And those old people will fall into place if that's uh, if that's aligned in your destiny. That's good. That's good stuff. Good stuff. I have one more question. Well, I have two more. This one is being a team player. And I don't have any questions right now. I'm just going by what's on my mind right now. You know, I have a lot of uh, team members. I have a lot of leaders who start the business together. They're doing great. They're bonding. They're doing parties together. You know, they're, they're working together, promote. And as the months and years go by, they fall off. They, you know, they get into an argument. You know, they don't want to talk to each other. You know, next thing you know, everything is at halt. Nobody's working. The volume is dropping. How important is it for leaders to get along, team members to get along? Because you got to think of it. I can't go nowhere unless my team you know, is, is, is moving and shaking. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all have to work together. I can't get to Ambassador. I can't get to Black Diamond by myself, pretty much. You know, and I know you probably experienced this too. I think it's very important that we all need to get along. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody needs to get along. Um, no grudges, you know, work together. Don't separate yourself from the team. You know, you got to come together and, and, and grind it out together, <laughs> you know, and, you know, try to come and, and resolve any issues that you have because you got to think of it affects the team so much. You know what I'm saying? It affects the team when you have leaders who can't get along anymore. You know, people are stubborn. They don't want to talk to each other. You know, you got a booming team that started in 2015 and then everybody started arguing and, you know, separating themselves in 2016 the whole team kind of falls apart. You know what I'm saying? And I know, like I said, you experienced this. We all experienced this. We've been in business for five years. I done seen everything. I done heard it all, <laughs> seen it all. <laughs> and, and so, I, oh, go ahead. And so, um, I mean, I, I mean, of course, I'm going to tell you guys this, but um, inside of our leadership, uh, uh, you know, circle, it's not always tight, you know? Um, it, there's so many people wanting to be chiefs and nobody wants to be the end game. Um, I'm one of those people that I'm, I'm okay with being an Indian if it makes my life simplified. What I can tell you about that is never let anything stop your money. You don't have to people, please. Um, sometimes, you know, you just got to pray for people and, you know, oh my God, and keep it moving. But you don't always have to like each other. You don't always have to get along. But when you know that, you know, that person knows something that you, you know, you've known or you guys did events and you've made some money or when you hooked up with them, um, you, you know, your, the chemistry was there, even if it fell off, sometimes you got to suck it up. And I talk to my team a lot about being humble. There's not always people that come on my team that I like. I've heard something they said about me, but here's the thing that's for them to figure out. And it has nothing to do with me. 
never stop your money, okay? Sometimes you have to pray for people and kill them with kindness. But if it comes to the, like, like uh, a few people on my team for years, let me just say this, together, when we were all together, the volume, the promotions, it was all everything. Right. But when everybody decided that they wanted to be chiefs and Indians, when I tell you the titles dropped like nobody's business, Absolutely. it dropped. Because what they did not realize was that they were all under each other and they needed each other. Sometimes people start to feel like, okay, once I promote, I'm bigger than you. I'm bigger than everybody. I know stuff. I enroll more people than you. They'll start to steal people. You know, your integrity goes wrong. They'll start to leave to come back, try to steal your people. Everything happens when people are still trying to find themselves. And what this business teaches you, it teaches you growth and it teaches you grace and it teaches you humility, okay? So what happened to my team in that one particular leg was it fell down fast. To the point now that they have no choice but to lean on each other and they are all rocking, okay? Because they had to realize at the end of this that they, you can't do this by yourself. They needed each other. So whatever beef that they had, and I had to tell them this, we didn't know each other before it works. I didn't know Arena before it works, you know? So us falling out and, and having issues and all that, I'm never going to let that happen. I learn from her daily, you know? She'll tell me stuff that she's learned or what she's doing. I'll tell her stuff that I'm implementing. That's my encourager partner. I need her in my life because she's somebody that's, she, you know, her team is rocking. Her volume almost a million dollars. Okay, so I have to learn sometimes how to put my pride aside to be upset. And what I told my leadership team was that the enemy is so upset sometimes when we all band together. And you can't give the enemy a reason to break us apart. Okay, we're women. Society says that we're always catty. We're always full of drama. And here it is. We're showing society, no, we're going to win and eat at the same table. So sometimes you have to come outside of yourself and say, you know what, sis, it was dumb. It was stupid. Let's get back to whatever it was, you know, that we were doing before. You know, I forgive you, et cetera, and move on forward. And we, as a leadership team, had to realize that, too. You had people all doing this, their own stuff, and they, they don't like her, so they doing their own things. And at the end of the day, we had to all come back together because we're trying to be, and look, number two team. But because the journey was bigger than us, and you have to realize when something is bigger than you, okay? And you don't want to be the person that they're like, you know, okay, I'm not dealing with jail, you know, because da 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 et cetera. Come outside yourself and be humble, okay? And, and that's the biggest thing is that if it was working for you and that person, whatever you guys were doing, you don't have to like people, but give them some grace. For me, I had to learn and I had to apologize a lot. Because it took a lot for me to really learn who I was. I stepped on toes. Like I've never not, I mean, I've always ran with integrity. I might have said some mean things. I might have said some bad things. I might have pushed away. And I really had to learn who, who I was because I was going through my own stuff. And at this point, I'm still growing, but that that petty journey is behind me. Okay. Um, and, and and it works. I tell people it's grown me to who I was. I'm not the same person I was five years ago when I started this. I wasn't the same person I was at the beginning of the year when I started this. And I'm okay with coming back and saying, you know what, hey sis, I'm sorry for whatever I said or did because it's bigger than me, okay? Marvette, before we close it out, can you give some tips or some encouragement, some advice to our team, well, to my team? Mm -hmm. um, keep your calendars filled. Set a goal for yourself. If you're, I see a couple of you guys have smaller kids, um, set a, you know, a, a, once you put them down, do an hour, of power hours. Um, I don't know if you guys do power hours, Arena, but I know that that is very effective. Um, here's the thing, it doesn't matter who get on. An hour of music um, and, and doing different tasks. I found it helpful when me and my team did it at the beginning of the year. My volume was going up, 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 up. And it was like my check was the highest it had been for a while. Um, so those power hours are very effective. If, you know, you can set out a day, like veto a training and set out a day for a power hour to go over the different tasks and have different leaders, um, in the middle of the break of it, 
um, you know, we always give a tip, but those are very effective. And you can, you know, when you're on it, you can take a picture, how we doing now, take a picture um, or do your Snapchats and just say, you know, leading the team, helping them, you know, make, you know, $500 this month. It's a, um, it's a marketing tool as well when you're on these because people can see it's multiple of us, 30 plus of us. Um, and sometimes I'll play my music while it's going on and we have a, a thing where we stop and, you know, play the music and we just, you know, do it like a video a boomerang or whatever. But, um, when we did do those, people will always, you know, mm -hmm. message me like, Hey, you know, what is it that you're doing? I want to be a part of it. People want to be a part of something. And so as much as you can show you with other people or you, you know, meeting people, get out, like get out um, and meet people. Me and Kim, um, when me, her and Ronnie met up, I had like maybe 12 people hit me in my inbox. Like, hey, what is it that you guys are doing? Um, plan to get together more. And if you can't, you're somewhere else, plan to do these more where you can take a video. Everybody, I mean, everybody not going to look cute at the same time, but I mean, you know, the power I was coming is like, do you hear make up? <laughs> Um, and do these videos and show people that you're doing them. It's a great marketing tool for you to implement it. A lot of us are doing it just on our downtime. I find it, I like it better when I can do it on my downtime as well. But the group, my, my group had one tonight that you guys made me miss. <laughs> um, but it's effective. So start incorporating that as well into, let me do a power hour, an hour in which I, you know, set us out of time. Uh, three hours out of your day, whether it's 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 8 o'clock. But my power hours is typically when I wake up before I take during the daycare, when I come back at 12 at lunch, and then when I um, before I go to bed at night, it's a, um, a three time power hour that I do. It's effective. It grows your social media, it grows your business. Um, you, said that, you said that because I actually sent out a list of um, power hour activities for my, to my leaders today for them mm -hmm. to implement with their team. Absolutely. And consistency. Consistency is key. It will get you wherever you want to go. Do not get tired like me. Um, be consistent. I promise you that when I was consistent, um, it, I ranked every month. Be consistent. Know that this is a numbers game. Don't ever let somebody else not working make you tired. When, by the time you're enrolling five people that month, only maybe one of those people will work. If you enroll 10 people, maybe two of those people, but it's a numbers game. Um, right now, and I'm working off a strategy where um, I'll send it to Rain. I can't remember. It's in my phone. Um, but I remember, I think it was Eric Worre. He said that he introduced the um, business to 1,200 people. 900 people said no. 300 people joined or said yes. 80 people worked or something and 30 people. I'll send it to her to send it to you. And I'm working off that theory right now. Um, and I'm excited to, um, my goal is to enroll 81 people by the end of the month by working with that theory. Um, so it just means that I have to stay consistent. I have to talk to and make sure I'm setting those five appointments, but have a system that you're putting in place that actually works for you. And how important to you do you think is um, having an accountability partner? I know you talked about that already. Um, I'm competitive. So having an accountability partner is effective for me because it's somebody else that, and, and, and not just any accountability partner, you're somebody that's, that's kicked pick ASS, okay? Um, somebody that you see that's enrolling 25 people per month. It's okay to reach out to side people and say, hey, you know, um, I came out of my comfort zone and seeing this other band so it was kind of going through, I mean, presidential going through the same things. And some other people were like, yes, put us in the group. So we were supposed to have a Zoom. I don't know what happened, but um, I'm, I'm excited to just bounce stuff off of other people, even if it's five, or five of y'all um, but get people that are motivate you to keep it moving and not somebody that's stuck at a standstill like you are, you know, if you are going through a rut at this point. Right. And, and keep feeding negative energy into you every single day. Like you can't have that. Yeah, the positive and the encouragers. It's definitely important to get around those. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you, Marvette. Thank you for sharing your great tips with us and sharing your story. You're so inspirational. Um, like I, I know, you know, a lot about you, um, you motivate me as well. Um, you're doing great. And I know that you're going to make the millionaires club. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's going to have some great strategies in place for you and your team. So we're going to be excited. We're going to be rooting for you. We know you're going to get there. Thanks everyone for joining the uh, zoom tonight. I appreciate you all. So hopefully you got some great tips. 
Um, and then we got the calendar situation. <laughs> Calendly. Calendly. Yeah, calend Calendly. Calendly. Okay. And then we <laughs> You'll get it one day. She's, I'll get it one day. And don't have Dream doing stuff by herself. She can't be cooking at two years old now. <laughs> But well, we appreciate you. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. You all have a Bye-bye. Thank you, guys, oh, for show, having me. Show Marvette some love on her page. If you're friends with her, let her know that we appreciate her taking time out of her busy, busy schedule tonight to um, pour into us. So we appreciate Thank it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>